Man, this Dr. Seiko Suave, the only nigga you know with two PhDs, one being in hoology and the other being in asthmatology. Talk to me nice. Now look, y'all met Dr. Seiko Suave, y'all met Seiko Hendrix, but it's it's about time to wrap them up. They've been here for 10 strong episodes, 10 strong EPs, y'all. And I hope all these EPs can help y'all out. And if even if, you, you know, you're not ready to, you know, talk to girls and all that, but take some of this life advice. Maybe y'all can come back. I'm going to keep the playlist public for y'all. But like I said, I hope this helped y'all in the long run. I know it helped a few out, but uh, without further ado, let's get into this one. All right, so boom, we in Bro Talks EP 10. This is the back to school guide. So first things first, y'all may be wondering, I'm not talking to y'all about no damn school supplies. I'm not talking to y'all about what classes to take. I'm going to be teaching y'all some shit that they don't teach y'all in school, all right? First day being cuffing season. Now, with cuffing season, cuffing season usually starts around a month after school starts, like when the football games start happening and all that, because you have in-season hoes. In-season hoes are the girls that date all the athletes throughout the season. So you got the girls who date the football players, and when football season's over, she goes on to the basketball players. When basketball season's over, she'll date a baseball player, she'll date a track star. When that's over, spring spring football will be coming back around, and then she'll be dating a football player again. That's just how it is. You have them in-season hoes. But usually... Uh, the hoes really come out from like spring break time so usually that's when she's really up for grabs and like when any hoe is down to do anything so don't never let up around the springtime and even going into the summer because that's when a lot of shit goes down that spring is usually the recruiting like that's when girls usually do their recruiting to see who they want to fuck with going into the summer who you know they want to mess around with during summer break who they want to mess around with spring break all that type of stuff so make sure you know you keep you know stay on your purpose stay on your grind staying you know working out getting weight training all that so when that time comes you can be ready now I'm gonna tell y'all about how to act in class. In class, what I what I usually used to do in class was I used to sit like in the middle. So I, I, it depends. Like I never, my mom always like make sure you sit in the front. I was always sitting like in the middle of the class or like I was in the back. It depends. But I would never talk in class. Reason why I never talked was because I, I people say I always look mad, but the whole time I wasn't mad. It's just that's just how I look. So I will always keep myself mysterious. So that way it's like you can't if you want to hear something from me, you have to like talk to me. You can't hear this from someone else because you don't I don't talk to that many people. Like I talk to people like I don't it's like it's a certain way like how I carry myself. You wanna keep you wanna carry yourself to where it's like people are like they're like interested to find out about you because they know nothing about you. Like they never hear you getting into any drama. They know you play sports and all that, but they just never hear about you. They got you on Snapchat, they follow you on Twitter, but it's like they know nothing about you. So now they want to know. They want to know about you. So they're gonna the girls. They're gonna come up talking to you. They're gonna you know. They're gonna be like, why you never talking? Uh, you know. They're gonna be saying, you know, you gonna know when she want to talk to you. And when that time comes, you want to you know, you want to talk for your you know, you want to talk with your chest. And you basically want to let her know, like, you know, keep it straightforward. Like if she's trying to talk to you, you know, eventually she's gonna like say something to you. Like you don't have to. You don't even have to break that move. If she comes up to you first, you don't have to say nothing. This is what I'm telling y'all. Like in school, it's easy as hell to get hoes because if you on your purpose, if you play sports, bro, they will come easily because you're so focused on you know getting an offer, you're so focused on film study and hitting the weight room and all that. You know you're worried about football practice, all that. You you're not really worried about girls, so they'll just come naturally. You're not wasting no energy getting to them. Now if you're if you don't play no sports, you're not into any extracurricular activities. Then they'll probably be a little bit difficult for you because that's all that's the only thing that will be on your mind is girls. But if you are in extracurricular activities, bro, girls is the last thing on your mind because they they yeah, they're your last priority, bro. And if they see you in the like other stuff and that raises your status, that raises your value. You know, playing sports. You know, other people know you having clout and all that. You know, that adds value to you. Now, if you're going into your first year of high school, I'm about to hit y'all with some real shit. Y'all may have your best friend who was in middle school. Best friend. Now, when y'all get to high school, y'all may never talk again. I'm going to just keep it real with you. Y'all may never talk again. The reason why that happened, that's happening is because high school is way different. You got other groups. Of, you probably got about three middle schools going into one high school, if you think about it. Th that's fact. So they're gonna talk. They're gonna talk to other people. It's not like y'all are gonna be beefing, but y'all just gonna outgrow each other. So don't take it personal if you see like someone that you used to talk to heavy in middle school, and y'all going to high school, and like y'all don't say another, y'all don't speak at all. That's just how it is, bro. That's okay. It's okay. It's nothing to freak out about, bro. High school. It's nothing to be scared about. High school. Some of y'all may have already started school, but this is nothing too late to learn. Now, the another thing is y'all may be trying to like look fresh on the first day of school and stuff bro don't wear your best fit on the first day of school you already got a fresh cut you don't have to look you don't have to try hard to look good bro don't wear your best fit the first week of school don't do that my nigga 
you wear like a, you know, you wear something like something slight, bro, slight work. And then, you know, the next week, maybe him with a little bit of drip. You don't want to wear all your drip out in the first week of school because then what you're going with because now everybody's going to be holding you to a standard oh he he just he just nice the first week of school so now you got to keep this image up first of all you don't even want to have an image bro you want to be yourself you know if you was if you was watching these bro talks bro you should already have a mentality going into high school bro so even if say if you was one of those dudes who you know always goofy as hell in class and shit I'm, don't be one of those dudes that's goofy. Don't try to be no class clown, bro. Yeah, the girl's gonna be laughing, but that's not gonna get their pussy wet, my nigga. Making the girl laugh is not gonna get the pussy wet. That's just gonna make her easier, easier to talk to you. You gotta keep an image to where it's like you're not the one to fuck with, bro. You, you know, make sure you defend yourself. You know, you talk from your chest. You want to be respected, but you don't want to force the respect upon yourself. If you play in sports, that's already gonna be respect given. If you're uh, also going into your high school for your to your first high school year, playing sports is gonna be easy as hell to get friends because people that you was grinding with all summer, um, summer workouts, uh, summer camps, all that, they're gonna y'all gonna have a bond. So you gonna have that little football squad. And even if you don't play sports, you can still have like a clouded squad, bro. So everybody knows. I'm gonna tell you this: you gonna have so you gonna have a whole bunch of different friend groups in high school. You're gonna if you play sports, you gonna have the sports group. You are gonna have the group like the clouded group, and then you're gonna have some your group. You know, you're gonna have your group that's you know that's smart. That's I was cool with everybody in school, so like I never had a set group of people that like I sat with. Like even at lunch, I never sat with the same people every day. I mean, hold, on, I'm lying, Loki. I'm lying. I sat with the same group of people every day, but like I will always, I wasn't restricted to sit at that one table. I could really sit wherever I want because I was cool with everybody. I was cool with everybody. So that's basically how you want to be in high school. You don't have to force yourself. I'm not saying be friendly with everybody, but you always want to you want to network in high school because if, say if you don't want to do your homework and you got a girl that's smart as hell and she's really feeling you, the bitch will do your homework for you, bro. And if she know you playing sports and all that and she really fucking with you, she will, she will do your shit for you. And then, you know, I, I'm not trying to be funny, but, you know, it's been school shootings going around. I'm not going to hold you. I was always cool with those weird white dudes. Not, not even like the weird dudes in general because if they decide one day they want to air that bitch out I know I will be safe from that because they'll be like, hey, yo, Seiko, hey, leave the class real quick And I'll be like, he'll give me the look and I'll be like, alright, bet, 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 I got you, I got you You always want to be cool with that, don't, don't let your ego get in front of you, bruh Don't let your ego, don't, don't let your ego get in front of you to where it's like, you, you feel like you're too good for everybody You're never too good for everybody because you can always, you can, someone that will always add value to you in any type of way so like them the weird dudes they were smart as hell and they would help me out in math so i would be cool with him he's helping me out in math and he's feeling he's feeling better about himself because he knows i'm known so he's he's like damn why is he talking to me the whole time it's like i'm just you know i'm not saying i'm using them but it's like we're using each other for everything he he's using me because he knows i'm known so he might that might be more people want to talk to him or somewhere more people see he's easier to talk to or something and people will want to approach him you get what i'm saying so everybody in high school the main goal of high school is to get bitches and graduate but graduation is first now i'm not saying to sweat your ass off i was never the kid that you know i never sat in the front of the class i never did extra credit none of that i was always i guess you could say i was the lazy type of student but i was smart as hell but i never like applied to myself so like my gpa i graduated with like a 3.2 or a 3.0 one of those but i i got like i got you know i was a, a b average student i got c's i got like probably two c's total in my whole high school career and the rest was b's and a's but i never tried like i never studied none of that it was just natural like the teachers used to hate me because i never studied i was sleeping class but i knew i knew what they was taught like i knew what i was doing so that's just that even if you're smart bro use that to your advantage because there'll be some girls who don't know what they're doing if you see a girl struggling be like hey yo you need some help blah 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 maybe hit her up some you know get her number whatever be like maybe i can help you out later on or we can study or some shit like that you know you put a little suave on it you put that little smooth that little game on it she'll be feeling you without like y'all she won't even know she'll be feeling you but she'll just like because you're you know you're taking time out your day to help her out now you don't fucking throw yourself at her mo you don't throw yourself at her you know what I'm saying? Don't throw yourself at it. It's a whole bunch of stuff going on in high school. College is very simple. College, bruh, you just got to wait till visitation. College, you network like crazy. You be cool with everybody in college, especially the girls. You know, you sit with her at the, uh, in the cafe, all that, because when visitation come, she going to want to be going. You're going to want to go crazy. So in college, you never want to, you know, 
never put your business out there like that you know like i said always if you're a guy keep yourself mysterious make because if, if everybody know everything about you you put everything on social media what's that to know about you there's nothing to learn about you all you gotta do is go on your social media you know what i'm saying so i want to keep this little episode a little bit short if it's if you feel like there's anything i left out let me know y'all i'm trying to make this video not too long because i want i wanted to get it out but uh yes dr Seiko suave and Seiko hendrick will be going till spring 2k20 but he will they will always answer that social media so if y'all want to y'all can dm me on uh snapchat instagram twitter hit me up on psn and i'll glad you gladly help y'all out with a few questions and just advice you know anything in general i got y'all bro y'all niggas is my little bros i may be y'all big bro i may y'all may be older than me we all we all bros bro we gang and I'm signing out. I hope y'all enjoyed this last Bro Talks. I'm out. Game.